Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Some AMNO people are still talking about bringing down the government. They say that uh, if the government does not implement this 10,000 ringgit withdrawal from EPF or the six months moratorium or holiday on loan repayments, then the government must be brought down. The prime minister must be ousted. Have they not heard the saying, the punishment must fit the crime? You do not sentence to death uh, a person who has parked his car in a no parking zone. That punishment is excessive. Bringing down the government just because of 10,000 EPF or six months holiday on loan repayments is just way too excessive. You do not bring down governments for those small reasons or in this case, excuses. Now, assuming you consider this 10,000 ringgit EPF and six months moratorium on loan repayments as a very serious crime, very serious offence that warrants the death sentence. And therefore, we must bring down the government. What will happen after that? Okay, you bring down the prime minister, you bring down the government. Then what happens? Then Pakatan Harapan takes over. Pakatan Harapan will be back in power. Lim Guan Eng will be reappointed the finance minister. And uh, who's going to be the prime minister? Is Mahathir coming back as prime minister? Or will Anwar Ibrahim now take over as the ninth prime minister of Malaysia? What's going to happen after you bring down the government? Bringing down the government is one thing. The reasons for bringing down the government is another thing, which is the reasons they're offering is too small a reason, too minor an excuse to bring down a government. But even if you can warrant that, uh, okay, these two offences are serious, serious enough to uh, bring down the government, do you have uh, an alternative to the present government? Maybe this five, six or 10 people in AMNO who want to bring down the government think they can form a new government. With what? Form a new government with 10 AMNO MPs? Where is your another 100 over MPs going to come from? 10 MPs is not enough to form the government even if you do have 10 MPs. But after you bring down the government, you need to have a new government in place. So you might have uh, 115 MPs who are prepared to bring down the government. Are these same 115 MPs going to support you to form the new government? Okay, 10 AMNO MPs team up with uh, 105 MPs from Pakatan Harapan. So you got 115 altogether. That's enough to bring down the government. A vote of no confidence in parliament, 115 MPs can topple the government. But will these uh, 105 MPs from Pakatan Harapan support you, 10 MPs, to take over? Who's going to be the prime minister? Who's going to be the deputy prime minister? Who's going to be the finance minister? All from these 10 AMNO MPs? It's not going to happen. If the 10 AMNO MPs work with 105 Pakatan MPs uh, and bring down the government, it's going to be DAP and PKR who will take over the position of Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, Finance Minister and so on. Not you. You are just going to be the kuda. You are just going to be the alat for them to bring down the government. But they're not going to let you take over all the top or key positions in the government. So that does not solve whatever grievances you might have with the present government. If you're not happy with the present government and you bring down the government so that a new government can be formed, 
the new government is not going to give you everything you want anyway. You are still not going to be happy with the new government. So it is not a solution. The punishment of bringing down the government for whatever you're not happy about is not going to solve whatever unhappiness that you have. It's a ridiculous solution to your present uh, dilemma that you are facing. Now, why is it you want to bring down the government? Because the new government has promised you a lot of things which the new, which the present government does does not agree to. I know, for instance, some of the complaints against the present government. Uh, if you were to watch those videos, okay, Lokman Adam is an example. He's made many videos. Uh, almost every day, he's got a video. And his main complaint is that... Uh, after the new government was formed, after the new Prikatan national government came to power, they did not drop all the cases against uh, the Amno people, all the court cases against a number of Amno people. So, according to people like Lokman, the issue is uh, they want all the cases, the court cases, criminal cases against Amno leaders dropped. And since the present government, Moedin's government, did not drop all these cases, so they want to topple the government. That's what they say. But of course, they use uh, they cannot use that as an excuse. So they use the excuse of 10,000 ringgit EPM and the six months uh, moratorium or holiday on loan repayments as the excuse to bring down the government. But how many people will support your move to bring down the government based on those reasons? You will not have the majority. AMNO, even if 100% of the AMNO MP support the move to bring down the government, you will still not have enough majority. You still need to depend on others. And in this case, you're going to depend on PKR and DAP. Now, if AMNO forms an alliance or coalition with PKR and DAP and bring down the present government, the Prikatan National Government, is uh, PKI and DAP going to let you be in control? Is AMNO going to be the uh, Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, Finance Minister, Education Minister, Defence Minister? Is AMNO going to control all those positions? Or is uh, uh, PKI and DAP going to be the one deciding who holds which post and they will control all the best positions? So does that solve your problem? The, the unhappiness that you have with uh, the Prime Minister or PBBM, does that now offer you a better deal? You will not get a better deal anyway. However, you might feel you're being treated by the present uh, government, you'll be treated far worse by the new government, the, the Pakatan Harapan government. If you, now you feel you are anak tiri, you will still be treated like anak tiri by the new government. DAP and PKR, if first of all, is not going to work with all those people uh, they, you know, who they call cluster makamah. In other words, the present uh, AMNO leaders who are facing court cases are all going to be kept out of the government anyway. DAP is not going to agree to any of those AMNO leaders facing court cases to hold key positions in the government or to hold any position in the government. If not, DAP will be killed at the next general election. At the GE15, the Chinese will punish DAP. So DAP has to isolate all those AMNO people who DAP has been condemning. So in other words, the position of these uh, AMNO people will be no different under the new government. It will be worse, in fact. So how does it solve the problem? So all these people who are talking about bringing down the government uh, because the present government is no good. and uh, But they're not telling us after they bring down the government, what's going to happen? What's next? Who are they going to form the new government with? Tell us. And if it's a better deal, a better government than the present government, then I think many people will support it. But they just talk about bringing down the government, ousting the government, and we ask them, okay, then what? You bring down the government, then what? Uh, then we leave it to Agong to decide.
Agong in his wisdom will decide what's the next move after we bring down the government. In other words, they do not have a plan on what to do after that. They only have a plan to bring down the government and after they bring down the government, they will chuchi tangan. They wash their hands and they throw the problem to His Majesty the Agong and they will let the Agong solve the problem of what to do after the government has been brought down. This is a very irresponsible coup, a very irresponsible move. You just wish to destroy and after you destroy, you leave someone else uh, the job of building it back up again. So in other words, these Amno people are saying, we only bring down the government. What happens after that is not our problem. That's the Agung's problem. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.